Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's car boot haul video. Slightly different location. I'm sitting at the dining room table. I've got it all piled up in the most precarious precipice you can imagine in front of me. But Kai's there, looming in the background. Molly's down by my feet. New member of the household, who you may or may not have seen by now, depending on which order my videos this week out, week come out in, is out in the garden with Anthony. So she may she may make an appearance at some point. It's warm again. I'm not complaining. I wanted the warm weather back, but I wasn't ready for it because it was absolutely horrible yesterday. It's my birthday weekend. T tomorrow is my actual, birth actual birthday. I'll be 50. 50 years old. Do I look 50? Say no. Say no and I'll um, send you a tenner. That won't happen. But yeah, I'm 50 tomorrow and Lex and I always do a birthday weekend because Lex's birthday is one week exactly after mine. And so this was the birthday weekend that Lex and I do. And we normally have a barbecue, but we didn't barbecue because the weather's been tripe. So we went out for dinner and said... Anyway, the end result of that is that this morning at the car boot sale, I was heavy handed on the resellers. I had a lot of us. So there was me and Lex and Jack Parrish and Nick and Andrea all running around, you know, trying to get the best bargains. I think I did all right. I think I did all right. Nick and I, I'm going to link Nick's channel below. There's absolutely no way that you don't know who Nick Hills is. Sorry, something on my face. But just in case you don't, I'm going to link his channel below. Nick and I set ourselves a challenge to spend a pound. You'll be able to see that video over on his channel if you go and look. To spend one pound and see who can get the best item for that pound and, and judge that by what it sells for. So that's coming up later in the video. And because Nick was down and I cleared out some stock and gave him some stock that I wasn't going to list, it made me realise how much unlisted stock I have. I know I keep saying, I don't need the stock. I've got plenty of stock. Oh, my God. The amount of unlisted stock I have is obscene. So I have bought less. I can't not buy. It's the bit of the job I enjoy. But I bought less. I bumped into Vanjie and her mum. I see them regularly now. Their car boots are a bit hit and miss at the moment due to the weather. And Vanjie said, oh, I've got some mugs for you. She's, she seems to struggle selling mugs. I don't struggle selling mugs, as you know. Mugs are, I'm, I'm the premier mug supplier of the South West now. So she said, I've got some mugs for you. I can't sell them. I bought them for you. So she bought me a Jamie Oliver Cheeky Monkey. And... That's a Julie Dodsworth, Queen's Julie Dodsworth. What's this one? Is it Strawberry Fields? I think this one's got Strawberry Fair, that one's called. And this one is, what's that? A Whittard, a Whittard giraffe mug. So thank you very much for those, Banji. I will get listing, I promise. And the stuff that I bought from Steve is scattered in amongst it all. So it's going to be a bit random as it pulls out, because I, honestly, you should see the precipice I've created. If you hear a crash, you know what I've done. I bought two Slimming World recipe books in brand new condition. I think this lady's done pretty much what we all do at Slimming World, which is they bring out a new Slimming World cookbook and you go, oh, I like that. That'll have some lovely recipes. And you never cook any of them. I don't think anybody's ever cooked a single recipe out of a Slimming World recipe book. Although this one looks nice. Spanish fish and sweet potato tray bake. Aubergine pizza boats. Now I make aubergine boats quite frequently, so that I don't need a recipe for that. Anyway, 50p each, two for the pound. So I've got two Slimming World books. And I got a dog toy puzzle, new in its box. I may try ours with this. I don't think Molly's ever used a dog toy puzzle. But it, basically there are, I think, the seven seven little um, holes that you hide treats. Yeah, seven chamber hidden treat puzzle. The poor hide contains seven treat cups. Hang on, glasses off. Specially designed to fit in the puzzle base. Dogs must figure out how to remove the cups to reveal the treats. The unique shape challenges dogs to solve the puzzle from all sides. It says Sogs. It challenges Sogs. Challenges dogs to solve the problems the puzzle from all sides. C-shaped scent holes trigger a dog's natural curiosity and foraging tendencies. I have sold dog puzzles multiple times. I may try Molly with it. Even if Molly doesn't get on with it, I know there's resale in it. I paid, let me see, I paid £1 for this Libs Dogs mug. This is Libs Dogs, designed by Libby Shepherd for Libby Shepherd Design. And there's a pound stick on the inside. I'm just trying to peel that off so I can read what it says underneath. So there's the mug. Really nice dog mug. It says, forever faithful and loving, there is nothing more wonderful than your own dog. That's, it's, and it's a big mug as well, look, hand for size. It's a good large mug for a decent cup of tea. And I think it's got a free moth in it, so that's always nice. I like a free moth. And then from that same lady, that's um, Sue, who's a regular trader there. I also bought this two old cats. King and Queen, Unicorn, Handsome Prince, Matching Mug and Cup Set. Melamine. Even I can't break those. So, also got those. I did quite well with Melamine Children's Wear. 
That's filler bag. So I'm going to show the filler bag stuff's going to come out randomly because I didn't fill my own bag. Lex had a filler bag and I threw a few bits in hers. So I got a filler bag, Disney. I think this is Disney Primark, isn't it? Oh, Matalan. Disney Matalan, just, just a little baby toy. Um, if it turns out to have no value, then Kai will love that. Kai loves a little bear. He will sit and cuddle a little bear for hours. He's a big softy dog. You can just about see him in the background. You see his head? No, his head's behind the chair. But yeah, he loves it. He's eyeing up the little bear now. He's looking at it over my shoulder. So if it turns out to have no value, then Kyle will have that. That was in filler bag. And then one of the little early lending centre magnetic cars that went in Lex's filler bag. And one of the... Um, this is the one I always forget the name of. Spring something. I always forget the name of the design. But one of those mugs. There, there may be some other filler bag. I paid a pound. No, I didn't. I paid 20p for this. And I'm puzzled. I can't find him. I can, when I do a Google image search, I don't know who he is, and when I do a Google image search, he comes up on a um, custom bespoke toy company's website. There's a picture of him, but there's no information, no no information about what he is, who ordered him, where, you, we know. But then the label that says, uh, says made exclusively for Langland in Windsor, that's not the name of the custom toy website. So interesting. I don't know who he is. If you know who he is, if you know what character this is and where he's from, he's got a rocket pack on his back, I think. So if you know what character this is and where he's from, let me know, because I'm intrigued. I bought him simply because I didn't recognise him. If I see a character I don't recognise, I figure somebody knows something. But also, I think he's got one leg on back to front. I didn't realise that at the time. Look, either somebody's given him a horrible twisted ankle or he's got his leg on back to front. I think He's got wires. He's a wired toy. So somebody, somebody's twisted his ankle around. There you go. His leg's on the right way around now. So yeah, if you recognise this character, let me know in the comments because I have no idea who he is and nor does Google. I paid one pound for a Mr. Potato Head. All his bits are in his bum or at least, you know, whatever bits he's got are in his bum. I usually end up collecting up Mr. Potato Heads and doing them as bundles. I don't usually sell them on their own. You can usually pick them up very, very cheaply. Sometimes I find them in filler bag. And sometimes I just find their bits in filler bag and don't find the body. But you can usually pick them up really cheaply and then I do a, a bundle and they sell quite well. Lex put this in the filler bag for me. I thought it needed a wipe over, but actually now I'm looking at it closely. It's a filofax. Now I'm looking at it closely. What looked like crud on it is actually, I think, peeling coating. I think the coating's peeling off. So I don't think a wipe over is going to save it. But it does have a nice lot of inserts. So I can whip the inserts out and add them to another file of facts to increase the value of that at the very least. I paid one pound for this Royal Dalton Winnie the Pooh collection mug in its box. Quite a nice little children's mug. It says on there, isn't it funny how a bear likes honey? And there's Winnie the Pooh going through his honey stores. The box needs a wipe over. The box is storage grubby, but not damaged. This went in filler bag. This is a Wilco bunny and some of these sell okay i can only see even though it's not high-end plush toy i think it's because people tend to buy them because they're cheap and then their kid gets attached and loses them you know that you know the drill you know how that works and that was that was in filler bag also in filler bag jar of coffee coffee's flipping expensive this is beanie's birthday cake flavor coffee at first i thought oh, i'll be open but it's not it's a sealed jar of coffee so and it's not out of date it goes out of date in january 2024 so Anthony drinks coffee, I don't drink coffee, but Anthony drinks coffee, he'll work his way through that. Bargain. I think everything else, is, oh, nearly everything else is from Steve. I bought a pair of Skechers bobs from, um, there was a, a young chap and, and I picked up a pair of boots and I said, how much are they? He said, oh, they're Skechers, they're £6. And then I looked at another pair of shoes on the other end and I said, how much are they? He said, oh, they're Skechers, so they're £6. And then I picked up those and he went, oh, they're only two quid, also Skechers. So whether he just doesn't like the design himself or whether he doesn't realise that they're Skechers, I'm not sure. But I bought Skechers bobs and they say peace, or, peace and love all over them. They've got CND signs on them and they say peace and love and they're a size, bum bum bum, drum roll please, they are a size three and a half. So if you have to have, happen to have titchy feet and you want CND peace and love shoes, let me know. Three and a half. I want two of them for one foot. Everything else I think is from Steve. So off of Steve's table, I got a Babyliss Elegance hairdryer. I'll try this out, and if it's stronger than mine, I might keep it, because mine's a bit weak and feeble. Babyliss Elegance hairdryer. And a Donald Duck Mickey's Coffee Brand mug. That's huge. That's a massive mug. This is a uh, Disney Parrot. Disney Parks, I think. It says Authentic Original Disney Parks. I think that might be Disneyland rather than... 
Disney. I don't know. Disney Walt. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you know the difference between the Disney Parks logos. If you do let me know, it saves me the business of doing my own job and looking up. And then, oh, there was one last thing that wasn't from Steve, which is a Denby, small Denby cup, and that was 20p. But from Steve, I got five Denby Craftsman's mugs in the, I think this, I think this is called a green, even though I think it looks blue. I think it's called a green. There are a few marks on the side, but that should come off with the pink stuff. Five of those. So all of that was a ten of the bits I've just shown you. The hair dryer, the Disney mug, and these five Denby mugs. That was all a tenner. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is the one pound item that I bought for the challenge with Nick. But but it kind of ties in with these. So I spotted these after I paid Steve. These are Wallace and Gromit egg cups. So this is, I think that's Gwendolyn. Wendelin, I think she's called Wendelin, not Gwendolyn. There's Wallace in his um, bike helmet. And there's Sean, Sean the sheep. So I spotted those and I said, oh, how much are those? And Steve said, oh, give me two quid. But in front of them on the table was the other item. And I thought they were just little figurines at the time. Wallace and Gromit stuff is, is flying at the moment. So I was like, okay, I think this is a safe bet for my challenge with Nick. They're not figurines. They are salt and pepper. Feathers McGraw, the uh, evil penguin. Wendelin from the wool shop again. Wallace from the wool shop. So that would be Wallace and Wendelin. All the wool falls and when they pick it up, they look into each other's eyes and fall in love. In case you don't remember that scene, I'll see if I can pop a clip in. And then there's Gromit. Okay. They were originally free with Thai food tea, I think. But they do have some resale value. And when I picked them, I thought, oh, Wallace and Gromit stuff goes really well. That'll be sound. I'm not 100% convinced. Having seen... Nick's one pound item. I don't feel quite as confident about mine now. I thought pound for those, which is what Steve said he wanted. Pound for those. That's 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 safe. That's a safe. I was like, that's an easy win. I'm not sure it is. I think Nick's one pound item might kick mine to the curb. So pop over and have a look at his video. If I've got a link for it by the time this one goes out, I'll pop the link in the description box for you. Um, pop over and have a look at his video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm going to win. That's it. That is the haul and all of the haul. That's me done for another week. It's, it's all fitted into one bag for life. As I unpacked it from the trolley, I put it into one bag for life. And I feel like if I can restrict myself to buying one bags full at each car boot sale and listing more than one bag full during the week, I'll, I'll get to grips with my backlog eventually, surely. I hope. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you've seen anything in this video that floats your boat, then you, as you know, the email address is in the description box below. Drop me an email, we'll sort you out, and I will be back next week with another haul. Take care. Bye for now.